All right, here we go, guys. Pistol review. We're going to talk about the STI Rogue. Um, talk about a little bit about the company and about uh, why I carry uh, this pistol for my concealed carry purposes on a daily basis. Uh, so let's get right into it. The STI Rogue was designed to be a carry gun. Um, I say that because of a lot of features that it has and uh, the weight primarily uh, and size. This is a three inch barreled uh, 1911. Uh, it's got a bull barrel fully supported ramped uh, uh, barrel system in there so that what happens is it helps put a little bit of weight on the front end of the gun to manage a little bit of that recoil. Um, also smaller gun easier to conceal obviously. Um, this gun's about six inches in length total. Uh, it weighs in at 21 ounces unloaded. That's pretty light for a 1911. Uh, we're going to talk about the frame and you know how they how they accomplish that. Uh, so look, there we go. There's some of the uh, overall specs of the pistol. Let's go ahead and get right into it. This is a 9mm gun. The STI Rogue is no longer made. They now have a new one at STI called the Escort. It's the same pistol, essentially. It's got a few minor differences, um, but it's their new carry gun. I like this one a little bit better. Uh, you know, I like the integral sights uh, to the slide. Some people don't like that. We'll talk about that when we get around to it as well. So there you go. Let's get right into it. Slide. Uh, this is a carbon steel slide with a blued finish. Has those sights I was just mentioning. Completely non-adjustable, built into this uh, into the slide. You know, serrations on the back only. This doesn't bother me. We're safety checked, by the way. No magazine. Magazine empty. Nothing in the gun as well. All right, so. There you go. Um, you know, it doesn't bother me, you know, when you're handling a loaded firearm. I don't particularly like to keep my hand up by the muzzle anyways, but there you go. Um, so, so let's get into those sights. Uh, the only downside to these sights is that, uh, you know, they're so low profile, which is a good thing, that it was hard for me to see the front sight. Uh, but when I put this Night Siders mod on there, it makes it really easy. So you can really pinpoint it now. Um, you know, for me, low profile built-in sights are important with a carry gun. This gun is getting holstered in and out every day. Uh, it's important to have sights that aren't going to get bumped or moved or knocked out of place. Um, so there you go. That's that's my take on it for this particular purpose being a carry gun. Um, you know, I have adjustable sights on my other pistols, but for this purpose, I like this one. Let's talk about uh, that frame now. Uh, this is an aircraft aluminum Duracoated frame. Uh, what's so great about them doing this instead of having a steel frame, oops, sorry about that, is that it puts all the weight up here instead of back here. So what happens is it manages that recoil between shots. It also helps you get back on target. Um, so there you go. They also, let's get my flashlight over here, STI uh, bored out a lot of the steel you see, or of the aluminum. You see that right there? That brown is the underneath side of these grip panels. So you can see how much they took out. So that helps with the weight as well. You can see the grip panels here with the STI logo, uh, with the etching on the side. Um, these are their thin versions, so it just helps to minimize a little bit of the circumference. STI long trigger, get a good look at that. Uh, it's, it's a really great trigger, I love it. It has a little bit of play up and down, but nothing major. You can tell when you're shooting, it doesn't affect the performance of the pistol. Uh, safety, you have uh, not ambidextrous safety, so it's actuated from this one side. It locks really tightly into place. It takes a little bit of effort to manipulate it, which is good for a carry situation. Um, grip safety, so you see got your beaver tail. The grip safety is uh, it's a good amount of pressure. It's not uh, too light uh, to where it's too easily uh, engaged, but it also is not so heavy that you feel like you're having to squeeze the gun to your handshake to keep it um, pressed the whole time. So they did a really good job with that. Uh, you know, you have your textured hammer, uh, round hammer right here. So there we go. There are some of the externals of the guns. You get a little idea of that. Uh, another thing that STI did to manage recoils, they put in a recoil master. Um, this is uh, what, what it does is it takes your uh, guide rod and spring and everything, and it com it makes it into this one unit. It just makes it easier to manage when you're taking the gun apart, and it helps to minimize a little bit of that recoil. So let's go ahead and strip this gun down. Uh, take a look at the insides. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention: uh, mag release. It's in a great spot because without having to remove your hand from the gun, you can actuate it, which is good. Sorry, I keep bumping the tripod there. There we go. Uh, so let's take it apart. Here's your slide stop. You have your button on this side. As you pull your slide back, oh, take safety off. You pop out that slide lock. Take it out. Okay, slide comes forward. There you go. And then here we got the guide, uh, the uh, STI recoil master. 
Take this little plug out. There we go. Barrel comes out the front, just like that. There you go. There it is all broken down. So not a ton of pieces to have to deal with. Um, you know, it's easy to manage, easy to keep clean and take care of. So Recoil Master makes it a lot easier. Not having the bushing on the front and having to deal with all that. Uh, spring flying across the room if you're not paying attention. I mean, this is just makes everything a lot easier. And again, helping to manage that recoil is important on a, on a small frame gun like this. Um, so I was going to talk a little bit about the Escort and you know, some of the differences. Uh, you know, the Escort has sights on it that are adjustable. Uh, for some of you guys, this may be uh, an important factor. Uh, for me, it's not. It also comes in a couple other calibers, too. Uh, the new Escort does. Um, the only other difference between that that I see is that it has an officer's length magazine, which sticks out of the bottom of the gun a little bit. This gun, not that gun. That gun, the frame is built accordingly. Uh, also, the barrel on that one is 3.24 inches instead of 3 inches. Um, other than that, you're looking at the same pistol. Um, so, you know, it's a newer version of the same one. You can still find this gun used some places. Um, the only downside is uh, if you have this gun or you buy this gun, uh, continuing to find its parts uh, down the line. Now, does that mean I think that this gun's going to need new parts because it's going to break? No, absolutely not. But things like wanting to buy extra magazines might become a little bit of an issue. Let's put this gun back together and I'll show you what I mean. I'm try to do this around the tripod as quickly as possible. So bear with me here for a second. So we got the... Uh, there we go. Got it in right. Here we go. Recoil Master going in. I'm going to turn it this way so I can see. There we go. Okay. There we go. Got it. Okay. Now, so when I'm talking um, about the Escort and having uh, some of these issues with you know, finding parts to this gun now that it's no longer being manufactured. What I mean is primarily the magazines. Um, you can find them places still right now. I don't know for how much longer uh, that's the case. That's not locked in. There we go. Now it's locked in. I don't know for how much longer that's the case, but I, you know, I, I contacted SCI and had them send me one before realizing that I could find them online. And they sent me one for the Escort because that's their new version of this gun. And I'll show you what I mean. See how it sticks out a little bit right there? Uh, it doesn't stick out too much. doesn't really bother me, to be quite honest with you. But if I wanted to find some more parts for the Rogue and find more of these original magazines, which sit completely flush, I can do that online. Uh, a couple of websites, Dawson's Precision, uh, places like that, still carry some of the Rogue stuff. They still sell Rogue. So like I said, you can still find it at certain places, but it not being manufactured anymore, if you're interested in this gun, I'd get on it. Um, it's definitely worth it. it. It comes in at right about a thousand bucks. The new one is around twelve hundred, depending on where you're getting it from. Um, but this gun, you know, has had about five to six hundred rounds downrange with me. Uh, I've never had an issue with it, never had it uh, misfire, never had, you know, ejection problems. I've never had issues with uh, the magazine. I mean, I've never had any issues at all with anything with this gun. Also, for its size, I was surprised at how well I was able to put, put rounds down range comparable to some of my larger guns as far as accuracy with those built-in sights. Um, they did a fantastic job with it. Um, you know, I was able to get some really decent groups at, you know, uh, 15 to 20 yards with this gun. Uh, and, you know, I'm not shooting this thing a mile, but, you know, I'm comparing them to some of my larger pistols uh, that are full size. And if I'm able to get comparable results with this little gun, uh, that really speaks worlds about uh, STI's craftsmanship. Um, so a little bit pricier, it's kind of definitely a high-end gun, but at the same time, you know, if, if you're looking to spend a little bit of money and you're looking to get a really quality carry gun, this one or its new version, the Escort, are both uh, great pistols. And I highly recommend you check out STI if you're interested in any 1911. Uh, check out their website, they do a great job over there. Thanks a lot.